Hey, what's up everyone? This is Josh with Ska, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the Ska wireless audio networking that's built into your Electrotech Stage 1 speakers. So the way Ska wireless audio networking works is you can feed audio to one speaker. This is called the hub speaker, and you can feed audio to the hub speaker using Bluetooth, or you can use a physical wired input. And then that hub speaker functions as a Ska transmitter and can transmit audio or relay audio over to four additional satellite speakers. So virtually any SCA receiver can work as a SCA satellite, but only certain speakers can function as a hub. So stage one can function as a hub, Soundbox 3, Soundbox 4, Soundbox Go, as well as Wet Sounds Portable can all function as SCA hubs when you're using them with SCA wireless audio networking. And with this networking technology, you do not need a SCA transmitter because the hub speaker functions functions as your transmitter. So whether you're just doing like a simple multi-speaker setup for a party or an event where you just need to play music, all the way up to and including mobile DJ setups and live sound setups where you're actually using a real mixer, all of these setups can benefit from SCA wireless audio networking because it eliminates the need for any long cable runs. And because all of these speakers are battery powered, you won't have any power requirements either. And Stage 1's battery life is particularly impressive. It has dual hot swappable batteries that will get you 120 hours of playtime at 55% volume and 20 hours of playtime at max volume. Okay, so for this first setup, I'm going to show you how to do this with Bluetooth, feeding Bluetooth over to your hub speaker, and then we'll relay that audio over to your satellites. So the first step is just to determine which speaker you want to be the hub and which speakers you want to be satellites. I recommend your hub speaker be the speaker that is closest in proximity to you. So that's going to be this one. Let's spin this around, and we're just going to turn it on. And then there are four modes here you can select from. So for the hub to receive audio over Bluetooth, you'll want to tap the power button until you are in Bluetooth mode. So I'm gonna go ahead and pair the stage one to my iPhone over Bluetooth. Once the speaker is paired to your device, you'll see the Bluetooth LED indicator go solid, and then you can play some music and dial in the volume to your liking. For demonstration purposes, I'll just pull this all the way down to zero. One thing to note here is that there is a relay icon shown next to both Bluetooth mode and aux mode, and that means that both of these modes can be used with SCA wireless audio networking. We'll talk about using aux mode for SCA wireless audio networking in just a bit. Okay, so we've got our hub speaker set up. Next, let's set up our first satellite. So on your first satellite, just turn on the speaker and then tap the power button until you're in SCA mode. In SCA mode, the speaker will function just like any other SCA receiver, and it should automatically bond to your hub speaker. You'll know that the satellite has bonded to the hub if you see a bright amber LED next to the SCA bond button. If for some reason the satellite speaker doesn't automatically bond to the hub speaker, double tap the bond button to explore, and once you see a bright amber LED, you can press and hold the bond button for a few seconds to green list the hub speaker. This will save the hub speaker to the satellite speaker's green list, which is essentially a favorites list where you can store up to 10 of your favorite transmitters. And if you don't green list, any satellite that is bonded to the hub will automatically green list the hub after 30 minutes of use. Okay, so now I have audio playing through both of these speakers. Again, my phone is feeding audio over to the hub speaker over Bluetooth and then that audio is being relayed over to the satellite speaker. One thing to note about using a multi-speaker setup like this is that each speaker in the setup will still have its own individual volume control. So on stage one, if you see a blue volume LED, that's controlling the local volume of that speaker. So let's pull this up and make sure we're getting sound out of these. If you want to control the volume of all speakers in your setup, you can use your device's volume. This is called the global volume. Or you can tap the volume buttons and you'll see the blue LED switch over to an amber LED, which allows you to control the global volume of your device remotely from any of the speakers, which effectively gives you volume control over the entire network. Music 
Then if you want to go back to your local volume, you can just tap these buttons again or wait a few seconds and they'll automatically change back. So you have control over the entire setup from your device, but you also have individual local control on each speaker. If you need you know, one speaker to be a little louder in one area and one speaker to be a little softer in another area. Now, Stage One also supports Sky Wireless Audio Networking in aux mode. So to go over to aux mode, I'm just gonna tap the power button once. Now we're in aux mode, and in aux mode, you can feed audio through a physical or wired input. So your options on stage one are 3.5 millimeter analog, you can use USB type C, you can plug in a USB A thumb drive with MP3s on it, and this has a fully functioning MP3 player in it. You can plug in up to two microphones. Input one also has a switch for instrument level input. So you could plug your acoustic electric guitar into input one and then plug your microphone into input two to do your own solo or duo live sound setups. You could plug in the stereo line outputs of a mixer into these. Or if you're a DJ and you need a mobile DJ setup, you could plug in your DJ deck into the pro audio inputs as well. So aux mode allows you to use any of the pro audio inputs as well as the auxiliary input options. And if you need to set up a stereo pair of Stage 1 speakers, the audio routing options are available on the back. You can set one speaker to left channel only, and then the other speaker to right channel only. Or if you plan on really spacing out the speakers or putting them in completely different locations, you'll likely want to work in mono. Now remember, you can have up to four satellites bonded to any hub speaker. So I could add three more stage ones if I wanted to, or you can mix and match different ska receivers like Soundbox, for example. So one thing I did off screen was I switched the hub speaker back to Bluetooth. So I'm now transmitting my music over Bluetooth again over to the hub speaker. That's still transmitting over to my first stage one satellite. And on Soundbox, there is one little extra step you have to do, just turn it on. And then using this red mode select button, you're gonna put this in join mode. So you're gonna press it twice. Now this sound box is also going to function as a SCA satellite. Sound box should automatically bond to your hub speaker. And if it doesn't, just double tap the bond button that's on the back of sound box to explore for and bond to the hub speaker. Once bonded, you'll see a bright amber LED. And then just like with our stage one satellite, press and hold the bond button for a few seconds until it turns green to green list the hub speaker. So now I have one hub speaker and two satellites all playing the same music. Now this next step is especially important if you're going to be using more than two satellite speakers or maybe you're using this multi-speaker setup for live sound where you need like really low latency. The hub speaker actually has two different modes that it can operate in, SCA or SCA Pro. With SCA, you can have up to four satellite speakers bonded to the hub, and this operates at 36 milliseconds of fixed latency. And all of the speakers will stay perfectly in sync because it's fixed latency. So this is a huge advantage over using a Bluetooth multi-speaker setup, if you can even manage to make that work with Bluetooth. SCA Pro allows you to have up to two satellites at 19 milliseconds of fixed latency. So if you need super low latency for pro audio applications like DJing or live music performance, you may want to consider using SCA Pro. To switch between these two modes on the hub speaker, tap the power button three times. If you see a white LED, this means you're in SCA mode, and if you see a red LED, this means you're in SCA Pro mode. Since I'm gonna add two more satellites to my setup, I wanna work in SCA mode, so I'm going to make sure I have a white LED. So for my third satellite, I'm going to power on a Dillinger Labs Death From Below wireless subwoofer. This should automatically bond to the hub speaker. And once again, if it doesn't, double tap the bond button to explore. Once you see a bright amber LED, press and hold the bond button for a few seconds to green list the hub. And I still have room for one additional satellite if I want. I could use another sound box, I could add another DFB, or I could use another SCA receiver like the Dillinger Labs Aquarius. The process is exactly the same. Just turn it on, 
It should automatically bond to the hub speaker and then just press and hold the bond button for a few seconds to green list the hub speaker on the Aquarius. Now, a setup with two stage ones, a sound box, a DFB, and an Aquarius is probably not going to be very common. But the great thing about Sky Wireless Audio Networking is that it's flexible. It allows you to create any five speaker setup you need with any combination of Ska receivers, and it can even be expanded out into larger setups. So that's how you can set up a multi-speaker setup with up to five speakers using Ska Wireless Audio Networking and Stage 1. If you want to learn more about all of our available Ska transmitters and receivers, head over to Ska.com or SkaStore.com. To learn more about Stage 1 and Electrotech, head over to ElectrotechAudio.com. And if you like what you see, please consider giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to the Ska Sound YouTube channel to stay up to date on all new Ska products and tutorials. Thanks for watching.